Sunday, April 1st, 6 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at what looks like yet another water anomaly this morning. I'm here at surfline.com. This is a collection of, of coastal web cameras all around the world. I view, uh, or actually have access to the ones around North America, and I'm looking at this one here this morning you see from New Hampshire. And it falls in an area where yesterday we saw a water anomaly in Connecticut, Stamford, Connecticut, and also up here in Massachusetts. Now it looks like, at least to me, that that's very far out. In fact, here's a picture from Brazil. And one thing you notice during these extreme low tide water retreats, you'll see puddling or ponding of water along the beach. And that's what we're seeing here. You're seeing puddling. In fact, I saw a gentleman that might be him right there. This is a archived one from 7 a.m. It started around 6 a.m. I think the tide was, low tide began at 6.58. So, you know, it was right on schedule, but looks like it went a little too far out from, from my perspective. So, not surprising. Uh, considering what we saw in Connecticut and Massachusetts, and that is right in the middle. Something else I want to touch base on, guys, is these bizarre lights that have been noticed from Athens, Georgia. And something that was witnessed prior and during the New Madrid earthquake of 1812 was strange lights in the sky that people couldn't explain. And I want to touch on this real quick because it's just a just a thought, you know. What if that's what's going on here? Bizarre earthquake lights finally explained. This is a article from National Geographic. It is a very real phenomenon and it has happened dating back over a hundred years prior to the New Madrid quake. And what few people realize, this is a, something else I want to throw in, few people realize there's a volcanic chain in Georgia known as the Pigeon Mountain Range. I'll take you to that right now. Let's see if I can find it here on Google Earth. Actually, we'll just use it right here. This is Pigeon Mountain Range. And the reason I point this out is because Athens, Georgia, is right here. These sky light anomalies that we've been seeing this past week reported from uh, Athens, Georgia, they were looking west northwest and that is in a line with that old volcanic field and then there's the new Madrid and we're seeing strange lights and it talks about strange lights that do occur, they're rare and they happen prior to earthquakes that have happened in the past. And let me see if I can find a little information. I had some information about lights being observed in the hills, uh, just around the area, just prior to the New Madrid quake. Strange animal behavior is another thing that uh, was observed prior to the New Madrid quake. Let's see if I can find it. I know I've got it somewhere. Bizarre lights. Strange animal behavior, electric shock, strange sounds. People were hearing strange sounds. I wonder if that is maybe connected to the loud booms that people are hearing. Yeah, it's in this article here somewhere. It talks, here we go, strange lights. And this is regarding, this is information about the great quake of 1811 and 1812 the New Madrid quake that rang church bells in Boston. Many accounts of flashes, glows, and fires in the sky were recorded during the New Madrid earthquakes. Similar phenomena is often recorded around the time of other major earthquake strikes and is known as earthquake lights. Actually, the, the, the technical term is seismoluminescence what they call it now, but it's still not completely understood. 
Despite the widespread and numerous accounts of earthquake lights, there is still a dispute among scientists, that's what I'm saying, that's not completely understood, on what causes earthquake lights, or whether they even exist. One of the most common explanations given is triboluminescence from quartz crystals being rubbed together or squeezed, causing the light to be generated. However, triboluminescence itself is not fully understood and fails to account for all the earthquake light phenomenon reported. Years before the earthquake struck, and we're talking about the New Madrid quake of 1811, Tales of weird lights moving through the forest and hills began to emerge among the locals, and the stories began to quickly multiply months before the earthquake. And in this video here, this is a prime example of lights in the hills. This is from Athens, Georgia, looking west-northwest in the direction of the New Madrid Fault. And this is from 6 a.m. March 28th, 2018. This video was taken by Demetrius. And that's a textbook definition of strange lights. Pulses over in the hills. Again, this is from Athens, Georgia. Look at that. I'm just trying to understand these guys. I'm not saying that these are, in fact, earthquake lights. But I'm just, you know, suggesting the phenomenon is real. People reported seeing lights like this prior to the big quake back in 1811 and 1812. And that right there is an excellent example of bizarre lights. Look at that. There's also, here's a still shot from a, another viewer from uh, Athens, Georgia. Green, the, the sky was changing to uh, purple and green and red. This was from the 26th, just a couple of days prior to that event. So, from uh, Demetrius. So multiple accounts of strange lights in the sky from that area. So just a thought, just trying to understand what we're seeing here. Definitely bizarre, and we're definitely keeping an eye on it. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a happy Easter, and be safe out there.